Hello everyone, I'm Chris Room with the Room Insurance Agency, licensed independent insurance agent located in Cincinnati, Ohio. Currently hold a license in 18 states. If you come to chrisroom.com, you can see what states I am licensed in, and you can reach me at 513-496-3877. You can use the forms on chrisroom.com, or you can email me at chris at chrisroom.com. So today I'm going to talk about high deductible G for 2024, how it's changed since 2023. This year, the deductible is $2,800. The Part A deductible is $1,632. It went up from $1,600. The Part B deductible is $240. It went up from $226. Last year's high deductible was $2,700. So how does high deductible G work? Well, first off, you have Original Medicare. Original Medicare is the payer in until you reach the $2,800 high deductible G. So part A covers hospital, part B covers medical, and these are the different services under each. So how does the plan work? Well, the simplest way to explain it is high deductible G is to pretend you don't have a Medigap plan for a second. You simply have original Medicare until your out-of-pocket costs reach 2,800. This is why I don't like to really call it high deductible G because it's more of a cost sharing. The deductibles are within original Medicare. I just showed you the part A deductible of 1632 and the part B deductible of $240. Once you hit the $240, then you pay 20% of the Medicare negotiated rate. So again, it's any combination of part A and B reaching $2,800, the Medigap plan will then pay 100% after. So here's an example. Let's pretend you're in the hospital for 10 days. Part A deductible is $1,632. You're now going to be at $1,632 of the $2,800 high deductible G. Part B, let's pretend you have three follow-up visits following that hospital stay. It's probably pretty likely that you will. Let's make math easy. Each visit we're going to say is $120. So the first two visits are going to be $240. You've now reached that Part B deductible of $240. You have one more visit at $120. You're paying 20% because you reached your Part B deductible. So we're now at $1,896. $120 That's the, the third office visit at 20%. And then $1,632. So that's $1,896 of the $2,800. You have $904 to go before the plan pays 100%. So one thing I really like to point out, and you can come to my website, chrisroom.com and click on the Medicare page and then click on the Medicare supplement drop down window. There's a really good tool in there from Medicare that shows you the cost of part B procedure. So if you needed like a knee replacement or meniscus surgery or a CT scan, it shows you some really good examples of how well Medicare negotiates. And that's one of the reasons I really love this plan. And here is the main reason why I like HDG. I like to look at the compound interest. I did a 6% annual increase over a 16 year period. I kept my 2022 chart up here just because I'd like to show you some of the differences since 2022. So this is a male aged 65 in Cincinnati, Ohio. The rates will vary by your zip code. So the rate here is going to be less than a rate in Florida and it'll be more expensive than a rate in Tennessee possibly. So it just depends on where you live and I can give you a free quote. My services are always free, but here we started with $34 on plan high deductible G and here's a G. G is considered the richest plan somebody can get with Medicare after January 1st of 2020. So we look 16 years down the road, we've paid $10,473 in premium or $81.46 at age 80. And here we're at 34,000, oh, my bad, $36,966 or $287 a month. Okay. 6% every year going up, 6%. That is a $26,483 difference. So in 2022, you could hit the high deductible G 20, or no, I'm sorry, 20. You could hit it 10.8 times out of 16 years and still come ahead with the premium on high deductible G. Okay. 
In 2024, that number is down to about 9.6 times, but it's still a significant savings if you're in good to excellent health. And what I also like is Advantage plans in 2024 have an average max out of pocket, that's MOOP, of $5,064 versus a $2,800 max out of pocket on a high deductible G. You also have the ability to see any doctor or hospital in the country that accepts original Medicare. You do not need prior authorizations, pre-approvals, or referrals. Another very strong suit about these plans. So why or why wouldn't you want this plan? Well, I'm going to start with my whys first. If you're in good to excellent health, you have longevity in your family, you can handle a few bad years. That big picture thinker that I just mentioned, 10.8 bad years in 2022, up to nine or down to 9.6 now. Um, maybe you're coming from a marketplace or an Obamacare plan or a group plan where you had a high deductible or you had an HSA, so you really understand the numbers and higher deductible plans. Well, this $2,800 is still way lower than most of those plans that you see nowadays. And then you love freedom, okay? Freedom, you keep your freedom, but you have a really low cost Medicare plan that covers you really well. Why wouldn't you want this plan? Well, if you're not in great health, uh, there might be a better plan out there for you. You might want to get an Advantage plan. You might want to go to Plan G, is which is considered the richest plan, which I mentioned in a second. So if you have a lot of chronic conditions, you, your, your longevity outlook is negative, um, it may not be the best plan for you. It probably isn't the best plan for you. And then G, if money is not a concern, people just like to have G. They just want the best plan. Money's not going to be an issue. Um, and you simply want a richer plan, then you don't want high deductible G. And then if managed care doesn't worry you and a zero premium advantage plan with a little bit higher out of pocket cost is something that interests you, they do have some really nice plans out there. They do add some value added benefits that are really nice. So, you know, if you want to go that route, I don't knock the Medicare Advantage plans. I, I would prefer this just because I kind of fall into this marketplace situation. I have high deductible plans. I have huge premiums. So the thought of these plans really appeal to me. Okay. So these are a couple of reasons to ponder when you're considering the plan. So again, my name is Chris Room. I am with the Room Insurance Agency. I'm an independent insurance advisor. I've been helping people with Medicare since like 2008 or nine. Uh, again, I'm licensed in 18 states. You can find those states on my website, chrisroom.com. And then you can go to the Get a Quote page and there's a drop down for forms and you can do uh, prescription drug plans, supplements or Advantage options. I'm happy to look at all of them for you. Again, my services are free. I do everything at no cost to you. The insurance companies will pay me if we find a plan that works to your liking. Okay. And if you found this useful today, please like and subscribe to my page. It really helps me out. And again, I appreciate you guys watching this today. Have a great day and a great 2024. Bye bye.